Lion Shaver 1000 here, and I've got Monkey 1000. So tonight, well, we got two true spooky stories for you, but it's mainly about a question. If you guys can help us out on, we would appreciate it. So stick around and let's get into this. Okay, so I had, like I said, I have a question for you, and we'll get to that here in just a minute. Um, first, I want Monkey to tell you about her story. Hmm. These are a couple quick stories, and then I'll get to the question. So, go ahead, Monkey. Okay, last night I was sleeping. It was really, it was probably just before 4 o'clock in the morning. And I was asleep, and I'm a side sleeper, and I'm a roller. So I went to roll towards Shea Bear, and as I was rolling that way, it's facing, you're facing the closet, and you're also facing the doorway. So I, as I was doing that, I had opened up my eyes, and I seen the door open up into the bedroom. Yeah, the same door that opened up on that video yeah that i was doing that i didn't notice at first yeah the same door she saw it open and i woke you up I well didn't. she didn't like hey shea bear she no. didn't she said i don't look really, at that or yeah, something, something, like something like that, that. something yeah. like that and i said what because i'm very light sleeper in fact i was i think i was awake when she rolled over but and i said what she said that door just opened <laughs> And then he said, what way? And I said, in towards the bedroom. And then he said, oh, that means they're coming in. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's nice to know. Wasn't yeah, because I, I said, that. well, I've seen that before. Yeah. Not with my eyes, though. I caught it on video. Right. She actually saw it with her eyes. Mm-hmm. So, a little nerve-wracking to see that, though. Now I know what he feels like when he sees stuff like that because it's like, you know, I haven't always... I haven't mm -hmm. seen it, like, seen it, seen it. Yeah, well, it's like when, you know, when I showed her that video, she was like, hmm, yeah, that's weird, isn't it? I'm like, what do you, what if something like it happens to you? She actually seen it, and she's still freaking out today about it. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. earlier, we were in the bathroom there talking, and the door was open a little bit, and that camera up here, up there, perfect shot of that door and we're in there talking and I don't I think I was talking about somebody sent me a friend request on messenger and messaging um, and stuff like that that's what we were talking about and all at once the door opened farther and I thought it was Bruno so you'll hear me get real quiet and it wasn't Bruno mm -mm, it wasn't. and I'll show you the clip and I said, did you see that? And she says, yeah, we both saw it. But guess what? Here's where the question comes in. Mm. That door did not move. On the camera, you watch as close as you want to, that door did not move a smidgen. Not at all did it move, but we both seen it move. How come the camera didn't catch so it? So that's, that? the camera caught the door. Yeah, so what I'm saying is the door did not move. No. So that's my question. How can we both see something that did not happen? That's my question. There's no way it moved. Cameras don't lie. Right. That door did not move. Here's the clip of that. Yeah. Oh, come on in. You see that? Yeah. You didn't believe me about the door in the, in the bedroom last night. Okay, you're talking about it. Oh, come on, you see that? Yeah. So, you see what I'm saying? You can hear us both. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, well, we both saw it move. Because I thought Bruno, because he'll come in sometime. I thought Bruno was coming in. No. 
I saw the door move, she saw the door move, we heard that door move. And as you can see, it didn't. That's my question. How can we see both see something happen that didn't really happen? Because if it did, the camera would have picked it up. You would have seen it moving on camera. Mm -hmm. So why did we see something that didn't happen? And not just one of us, but both of us. Right. That's, I wish, that's wish the I would have got the door opening up last night. That yeah. was a little scary. Well, you're still going to have skeptics like, you know, like, you know, I rigged that whole thing or um, your mom was here or you were here. I had an accomplice. That's what that one guy said. Well, you know, maybe he had an accomplice trying to sound, you know, like, well, I'm not doubting you, but I am. You know, maybe he had an accomplice. Look, nobody was here. Mm -mm. And I've had so many people ask me, you mean you did not see that moving? Well, that's because I was not looking at the screen. I was looking at the camera like I am now. Right. So, you know, like I didn't, and it moved so slow, I wouldn't have seen that on the monitor. No. Because I was looking up the camera. Well, I thought maybe it was Bruno too, because we were leaving the door open a little bit because my mom's not here, so yeah. why close it, you know? So, um, but I did see it move, and I thought, well, maybe Bruno ran out there. But he was sleeping in his bed right beside me. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't Bruno, and it's not Snickers. Well, what it was was, so. we do, okay, we just got out of the shower, and we showered together a lot because... You know, we got well water, so, you know, it's better for the well. So, but we had just, just gotten out, and that's what we were talking about, and that's what we were talking about the whole time in there. Mm -hmm. And so we were standing in there talking, and boom. Yeah. I saw it. She saw it. Because you'll hear me just get real quiet. I'll say something about, sent me a friend request or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, you saw the clip, so. And I just got... You know, I looked. Yeah. I said, you see that? She said, yeah. So that's that's my question. You know, I've been in the paranormal, you know, for, well, pretty much all my life. But I started, um, like, uh, doing paranormal investigations when I was 18. I started out with a big boom box mm -hmm. to record my audio and a little Kodak disc. <laughs> Yeah. Going to get you with the Kodak disc. Remember that? Mm -hmm. That's what I started out with, taking my pictures. I had we, the we, we didn't have, well, I had one of those too. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, we didn't have, we can afford video cameras. I was 18. Right. But I've never ran into this problem. I've never had anybody ask me about this. I've, I've tried, I don't know how long, looking it up on Google. And it's not coming up with anything close to what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. So have you had to happen? And mm -hmm. if you know any more about that, why that happened, please let me know because I don't know. I'm going to still try to research the best I can to find out how two people can see the same thing happen that didn't happen. Because I'm telling you, that camera picks that door up fine and you can see it did not move an inch, but we saw it move. Mm -hmm. You know, I've ran into people saying, did you see that? I just saw that move. And... And, you know, everybody else went, no, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Right. You know, and that's usually what it is. One person will. We both saw it. We both heard it. But it didn't happen. Yeah. That's pretty scary. This is true stories here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last night was enough. Yeah. And so. Now I got to you know, worry about had, tonight. You know, like the orb <laughs> thing. You know, I mean, come on. That's we just had a lot, a lot of stuff going on. We heard it. We've been hearing a dog bark. One bark. Yeah. I like heard one it last in the bedroom. Night. Yeah, I, I did too. And I've I've heard it, you know, she's been past three days, well four days, five days actually. Since Saturday, she's been out the hospital most of the day, all day, every day, with her mom. Mm -hmm. And I've heard it I don't know how many times. I mean in the bedroom we'll, that's that's where we we watch our shows and stuff is in the bedroom, you know, the big screen and we just watch YouTube. Right. So and we'll just hear one <laughs> Coming from like out here, it kind of sounds like it's in the garage. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it doesn't have the echo like, hello, you know, like this does. No. So it kind of sounds like it's in another room, but it sounds, it just sounds like a dog, one bark, a sm not, yeah. and not a big dog. Just no, a little dog. Like a, yep. Yeah. Yep. You know, one bark, and it sounds like it's coming from in the garage. 
Mm-hmm. And we've been hearing that for the past week. You know, so I don't. What about the light? What light? That light that goes in the hallway. That kept... Yeah, motion light. That was weird too. Motion and that light. happened this week too. Yeah, the motion light kept coming on one night. Huh. Weird. Because you can see it, you know, when our doors cracked, there was a light was there. And it just, I'm just sitting here, we're just watching TV and all at once, because it's right in front of our door. And, and so you can see it. You right. can see if, when the light comes on, because it's kind of bright. You have um, to go buy it. Too. But you have to go buy it. Yeah, you have to get in front of it. And our bed's we off the bed. to the side. So it couldn't have picked us up. Bruno was on the bed with us. And yeah. of course, Snickers is gone now. So, yeah, so it's not so, um, And her mom hasn't been here. No, since Saturday. So, no. so what, you know, what, in, in that one night, it did it like five times. Yeah. And then, see, it comes I on. I ended up taking it out because. Let's see that. Well, we <laughs> only little, need one anyway. I got a little nervous but, about it. <laughs> but the thing about it is, you know, and then it comes on for a minute or whatever, and then it shuts itself off. Yeah. Hour later, light would come on again. Yeah, like somebody walked right by it again. I only did it that one day. It's never done it before. Mm-mm. Never it had that trouble. And it hasn't done it since the other night. So. Mm-mm. Not. Uh, Weird stuff going on. So we'll keep you posted on the stuff that's... A lot of stuff's been happening around here. Then <laughs> this morning, I, I come out and I have my coffee and I do my stuff. And then I watch the news for a few minutes before I go to the hospital. And there was a bird sitting at the window outside, but it was right there at the window. Okay. Well, that's not really paranormal. Well, okay. it may seem strange, but okay. okay but I I, I've seen that happen all the time. No, but that's not paranormal. I mean, no. to me, that's not. So we got to stick with what, you know, I mean, you can explain that. Birds sit in windows all the time. Well, it means something. Okay. Basically. All right. That's fine. But. I'm trying to stick to what's going on in here, the stuff that we cannot explain, like the light. No. Seeing that door move. Two people see something happen that didn't happen. A dog barking one time. Now, it didn't. It happened on several occasions, but it's one bark, and it sounds like it's coming from in the garage. Mm -hmm. And that's happened several times. Mm -hmm. So. It sure has. I don't know, guys. And it's not from, from like, outside. It's not coming from no, outside. No, no, we you can tell because yeah. I mean you can hear. I mean you know your house. You know if yeah. we can hear a dog, a neighbor's dog bark or this neighbor's right. dog bark. We know. Yeah. But for this to sound like it's in this house in this garage because the door is usually open, and it just sounds like it's in the garage. Just that one bark. Not outside, not out front, not, you know, the neighbor's dog is a big dog. And yeah. it don't never just bark once. No. It barks and barks and barks. The same way with the guy behind us, his dogs. They bark and bark and bark. They don't just, woof, and that's it. Yep. So, I don't know, guys. Anyway, that's our question. Can you help us out? <laughs> and our story. So, we didn't right. look. Anything you want to add? No. Nope. Anything else you can think of? No, that's enough for me. <laughs> I told her, so wait till something happens to you. That door so does it no again tonight. Mm. But no, when she sees, it's just like, I say, it's something you never used to. It's like, you know, you ever had something touch you? She was like, no, no, it's no big deal. And then when something touched her, we was at the Ripley's, Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. She was the only one in this room. She come out and she goes, just touch my shoulder <laughs> and she was all freaking out her hairs were standing up on her arms and i was that like was weird. I was like what it's no big deal something touched you <laughs> now i know what you mean and she she hasn't heard her name yet so no. wait till she hears her name whispered right guys mm -hmm. some of you guys out there has had that happen i'm sure and <laughs> when you hear your name and nobody's there mm. that's not, you just never get used to that so anyway guys please help us out if you can Hmm. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for listening to our story. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Monkey says, up for now, y'all. Bye. <laughs> I'm gone for now. Bye, guys. We'll see you in the next one.